Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Friday, May the 21st. Um, Jonathan and Andrea, we are leading you today and we're excited to be leading today. It's a bit of a watershed for us. We started um, offering Zoom morning prayer on March 23rd, 2020, and over 130 people from Ascension have co-led us each morning throughout this pandemic. So this is going to be the final of that long series of daily, week daily morning prayer, but we hope that you will continue to pray morning prayer as part of the habits of your life. You can use the daily office printed version that we make available to folks at Ascension. You can also use your prayer book, which is um, available. You can buy it online. And of course, you can use your phones and you can download the fantastic app developed by Ben Locker, one of our parishioners. Um, and it's just, you can find it, search for uh, daily office 2019 you can google that you can get that online or you can download it from your app store well without further ado let's begin morning prayer together since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens jesus the son of god let us hold fast our confession let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the, to the glory, glory of your, of your holy, holy name. name. Amen. Amen. The almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Alleluia. Christ, Christ our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. us. Therefore, Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Psalm 50. The Lord, even the most almighty God, has spoken and called the world from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Out of Zion, perfect in her beauty. Has God shone forth in glory. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. There shall go before him a consuming fire and a mighty tempest shall be stirred up around about him. He shall call to the heavens above and to the, and to the earth beneath that he may judge his people. Gather my faithful people together unto me. Those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heaven shall declare his righteousness. For God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. I myself will testify against you, O Israel, for I am God, even your God. I will not rebuke you because of your sacrifices or for your burnt offerings. 
because they are always before me. I will take no bull calf out of your house, nor he goat out of your folds. For all the beasts of the forest are mine. And so are the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the air. And the wild beasts of the fields are in my sight. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the whole world is mine and all that is therein. Do you think that I will eat the flesh of bulls? And drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And pay your vows unto the Most High. And call upon me in the time of trouble. So, I, so will I hear you and you shall praise me. But to the ungodly, God says, Why do you recite my laws and take my covenants in your mouth? Though you hate to be disciplined. And have cast my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you agreed with him. And you have taken part with adulterers. You have let your mouth speak wickedness. And with your tongue, you have set forth deceit. You sat and spoke against your brother. Yes, you have slandered your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I held my tongue. And you thought wickedly that I am such a one as yourself. But I will reprove you. And set before you the things that you have done. Oh, consider this, you who forget God. Lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver you. Whoever offers me a sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. And to him who orders his ways aright will I show the salvation of God. Glory, Glory be, be to, to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke, beginning with the 11th chapter, the 29th verse. When the crowds were increasing, Jesus began to say, this generation is an evil generation. It seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah became a sign to the people of Nineveh, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise up at the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, something greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and behold, something greater than Jonah is here. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar or under a basket, but on a stand, so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But when it is bad, your body is full of darkness. Therefore, be careful, lest the light in you be darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, it will be wholly bright, as when a lamp with its rays gives you light. While Jesus was speaking, a Pharisee asked him to dine with him. So he went in and reclined at table. The Pharisee was astonished to see that he did not first wash before dinner. And the Lord said to him, now you Pharisees cleanse the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You fools, did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But give us arm, but give as arms those things that are within, and behold, everything is clean for you. But woe to you Pharisees, for you tithe mint and rue and every herb, and neglect justice and the love of God. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. Woe to you Pharisees, for you love the best seat in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you, for you are like unmarked graves and people walk over them without knowing it. One of the lawyers answered him, teacher, in saying these things, you insult us also. And he said, woe to you lawyers also. For you load people with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets whom your fathers killed. So you are witnesses, and you consent to the deeds of your fathers, for they killed them, and you build their tombs. Therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute so that the blood of all the prophets shed from the foundation of the world may be charged against this generation. From the blood of Abel 
to the blood of Zachariah, who perished between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, it will be required of this generation. Woe to you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter yourselves and you hindered those who were entering. As he went away from there, the scribes and the Pharisees began to press him hard and to provoke him to speak about many things, lying in wait for him to catch him in something he might say. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, boy. I love that the liturgy has us say thanks be to God, even yes. in the midst of all these woes and uh, accusations. I have to say, it's a bit uncomfortable reading this as one who was a lawyer <laughs> and is now I hope not a Pharisee as we think of them, but one of the religious leaders anyway. I, I want to take us to um, a reflection yes. um, on, the, on the part where it talks about the light. No one after lighting a lamp puts it in a cellar or, or under a basket, but on a stand so that those who enter may see the light. And this whole notion of the eye being the lamp of the body, what is it that we're looking at? Who is it that we're looking at? Um, and this is one of the beautiful things about morning prayer is, is that uh, it has allowed us an opportunity to collectively turn our eyes um, to Jesus. And I think about um, through his word, through the, uh, the readings of scripture, and I think about the, um, the psalm that says, um, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And I think about um, this collective reading and praying uh, scripture through morning prayer has actually been an opportunity for all of us to um, bring the light of Christ into, um, into our lives through, through scripture and then being transformed by it through these patterns of, of collective prayer. Yeah, and I think those woes are sobering. Um, and you know, when you think of those honorable vocations of the religious leaders and the lawyers, and they'd failed in their duties. Instead of leading people to God, they were actually leading them away. And I think for all of us in our many and varied vocations, whether we're a stay-at-home parent, whether we're uh, a teacher, whatever our vocations, it is this daily grounding in the scriptures, filling our eyes with the light of Christ, the light of his word, that then we can shine brightly, unashamedly, wherever God has called us to serve him. Let's affirm our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Saviour Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, 
whose most dear son went not up to joy, but first suffered pain. He entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who alone works great marvels, send down upon our clergy and the congregations committed to their charge the life-giving spirit of your grace. Shower them with the continual dew of your blessing and ignite in them a zealous love of your gospel. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We invite your uh, intercessions and thanksgivings. And I want to encourage us to um, pray for those people who have asked for our prayers, particularly family members and friends. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this season of being able to do morning prayer together via Zoom. We thank you too for the many people who have uh, contributed to this, um, to this endeavor by leading us. And we thank you too, Lord, that um, you have given us the opportunity to come back together. We had this as an opportunity to virtually be together and now we are able to begin to gather safely. So we thank you for, um, for that, those opportunities. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you would help us to continue this daily habit of spending time with you in prayer. Lord, we do pray that you would help us to fill our minds and our hearts with things of you so that the light that comes from us would be the light of Christ. And Lord, thank you for all those who have faithfully participated in this, uh, in this time of prayer. And thank you for the additional resources that you have so that we can continue together in prayer. Father, we pray for all those this day who are unwell, who are suffering, who are lonely. Bring them your peace, your comfort, and your healing. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.